Hello. This is a training for home performance with Energy Star contractors for Efficiency Vermont. This is simply a walkthrough of the new pre-approval process and how that works with the online rebate submission process. More specific details have been provided in the email where you receive the attachment of this recording. So I would encourage you to um, read through all of those details and, and information in that email as that will be a good reference for you going forward. So as you can see, we're starting on the home page for the Efficiency Vermont online rebate submission process. This should be familiar to you. Nothing about this has really changed. And you will continue to sign in in the way you normally have been as a home performance contractor. You will see me sign in using the employee button, but you will continue to sign in using your email and address, um, email address and password. Um, I'm using this button simply because I'm an Efficiency Vermont staff member. So as you can see, this will take me to my online rebates, my rebates page. You should be able to see any in progress um, rebate claims that you have, submitted claims, or you can see all of them all together. Um, we're gonna stay with the in progress claims. You'll now see that there's additional categories of things. There's some incomplete ones. There's pending pre-approval category. There is pre-approved category. You can see one that I have waiting for us to use as part of this training. And then others as in the awaiting customer signature, this category here, and this one should be familiar to you. We're gonna go ahead and start a new rebate claim. You will be selecting residential existing building home performance with Energy Star as you always have. Certainly you will be adding your information here. I'm going to uh, just put in some fake information in order to um, make things a little more obvious for myself. You will need to be filling out your customer's um, street information here. So if I just put fake information in here, that will make sense to you. I'm gonna delete that because it's not relevant. So again, this is the install location info. And as you will see, um, this is just your customer's name. There's no company name usually, obviously, since these are home, um, residential. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in my information. I think this is pretty straightforward. Nothing about this has changed for you all. If you don't have their utility information, you can feel free to check that off. You may not have that because um, we're starting at a pre-approval stage. So I'm gonna assume that maybe for pre-approval, you don't have their company information, that's fine. Um, when we um, ask you for their customer information, it's important just that this information is here. Um, you do not need utility information for pre-approval. That will obviously um, be something that either you or your customer provides for the final submission for the final rebate payment, but not for pre-approval. Clicking continue is just a reminder that we want to make sure they have good information for your customer. Um, this page should largely be the same. You'll notice that there's not a whole lot of difference from your current process. Total weatherization costs here, what we want you to do for pre-approval is just put in your estimated cost that you have provided to your customer, either on a scope of work, contract, um, letter of intent, anything like that. Whatever the total estimated project cost, you're gonna put that in here. Um, certainly, if you know the answers to most of these other questions, we want you to be able to answer them. Um, you may not know if there's any home performance um, prior projects. You should probably know the primary heating system, so we would ask you to complete that. Obviously, these pieces are future. Um, this is also uh, probably future. The one question that is here that we do need you to answer is if you believe the customer to be income eligible for basically the additional rebate that is available to income eligible customers. If you don't know or you're pretty confident they're not, say no. If you're not really sure or you think they might be, we encourage you to select yes because this will help us to be more in, um, conservative in our rebate reservation amounts. 
we are asking you to provide um, project estimate documentation, scope of work, customer contract, audit report, letter of intent, anything that basically outlines what kinds of measures you're going to be installing, attic insulation, basement insulation, air sealing, all of those pieces, and kind of lines out the costs for those items. That's the type of documentation we're looking for. If you do have preliminary blower door um, documentation, we would encourage you to um, attach that here. If you don't, this is optional for pre-approval as is stated here. You will be required during your final submission after installation is complete, you will be required to put it in then. That's all you need to enter for the pre-approval process. So we encourage you to obviously review this page and understand that the information provided for you is for pre-approval. Um, and so that, you know, it's not for final approvals or anything or final payments. This is just to help Efficiency Vermont reserve a rebate amount for your customer to ensure that if rebates were to change between the time that you submit this application for pre-approval and the time that final installation is done, then your customer has been approved for the amount during pre-approval, not for what's occurred at installation. So we hit submit for pre-approval. And then at this point, you're um, waiting for Efficiency Vermont to get back to you to indicate that your um, customer has received a pre-approved application. Um, you will receive an email from Efficiency Vermont indicating if they need any additional information or um, assuming that there isn't very much being asked that everything will go um, very well and, and be very streamlined. Efficiency Vermont will send you an email indicating that this application has been pre-approved. Your customer will also receive a copy of that same email. And if you are in Burlington Electric, if your project is in Burlington Electric or Vermont Gas Territory, a respective um, email will also go to Burlington Electric or Vermont Gas, letting them know that a pre-approval has been issued for that said project. At this point, you're just waiting then to do the installation. So once you have that pre-approval, you're waiting for your schedule to you know, come about where you do the installation for your customer. So we're going to assume that you have submitted and you have received pre-approval. Here's your pre-approved claim. And you have completed the installation for that project. When the installation is complete, you will come back to your My Rebates page, as I have here. We'll come back to your My Rebates page and log in. You will click these three little dots called ellipses. You will click Continue this rebate. And you are back into the rebate application. At this point, we ask you to please carefully review anything. If some, maybe your contact is information has changed in the last 90 days. Maybe your customer's information has changed in the last, you know, a little bit. Maybe their email address is now. Um, you know, something like this. And so making sure that their contact information is correct is very important. And maybe you now know the utility information. And so instead of checking the I don't have, which you can still do, you can also uncheck this if you've accidentally done it. You can add in this customer's information and you can say, oh, they're Vermont Gas. And that's fine. Or nope. Sorry, whoops, grabbed the wrong thing in the pick list. That's fine. Just be sure to carefully review this information. Oops. And this is a great example that our system will verify that we have matching email addresses for your customer. So, Again, being very careful, this is final installation information. So the information on this page currently is showing what you estimated for pre-approval. We need you to come through and carefully review this information. If you ended up actually working with 1,400 square feet instead of 1,200 because you got into the installation and found an additional 200 square feet that needed insulation, for example, we would ask you to come in and update that information. And let's just suppose that the um, cost of the the actual total weatherization project cost turned out to be $6,500 instead of $6,000. It is very important 
that you update this information as the final rebate amounts will be calculated based on this total. So this definitely needs to be your installed total project cost that you intend to invoice your customer for. Please go ahead and finish um, filling out this information based on what was actually installed. Let's just say you used a weatherization contractor. So please add their information in there if you approve it, if appropriate. And then certainly if there's any zero energy home or healthy homes assessment done. And then blower door testing, like I attached a preliminary test, but let's assume it knows that I had attached a preliminary test. You can also now attach additional information here for a final test, sorry. Apparently, I didn't actually grab the file. If it's going to give me, there we go. It may give me an error message because this is above three megs. But. And then you now can add your products. So this is just like before um, in the current process, before we did pre-approval, you're going to add your weatherization and your air sealing and your insulation. I'm only going to add air sealing for respective time here in this review. I'm making up numbers. And then I will add my health and safety measure. We did carbon monoxide alarms in this particular case. So I'm going to go ahead and say that we installed one of those. And then that's all the products I'm gonna add for the example of this training. So we need to know who's gonna receive the check. We're gonna assume that your customer's getting the check and that we do that you do know your customer's address. You're gonna, you know, let's just say that it's the same as their installation address. And so you can go ahead and click continue. And then this is your summary page as always, same as you're familiar with. Submit our information, which is yourself, the installation address, we are asking you to upload a copy of your final invoice for your customer. This is who's going to receive the final rebate. This is just the eligibility information that you're familiar with today. And what's gonna happen next is you're gonna send this to your customer to complete, meaning they're going to review and sign off on the information that's provided. And that's all you need to do in order to finalize and submit the final installed project for payment. At this point, your customer will receive an email. They will click the link in the email, review and sign off. And then the rebate claim will be submitted and you will receive an email confirming that that rebate application or claim has been submitted and either Efficiency Vermont, Burlington Electric or Vermont Gas will process and pay the rebate for their respective project. Again, if you have questions or if you need clarifications, I would encourage you to refer back to the email that this video was attached to so that you can um, read through those details at your convenience and not have to find the exact spot in the video as to what needs to happen. Thank you, and I hope you have a great day.